Hello, in this video what I'm going to do is show a couple techniques that I've used in helping to transform, transferring data from spreadsheet to spreadsheet as well from HTML to spreadsheet. What I have on the screen is the gold data. This has the date on this column, the time, the open price, the high price, the low price, and the close price. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste, let's say, April's data for another spreadsheet. So what we'll do is we'll copy and paste all of this information, highlight what we need, copy it, and then say we go to a new spreadsheet and paste what we need to a new spreadsheet. And number REF. Now the reason why that came up was because there is formulas you, formulas used to make these numbers come into play. Therefore, it, at least an open office, not sure about Excel, but with an open office spreadsheet, it won't let you move the data over. So what I use to get around from this is to copy this data and move it to Notepad. Make sure that the numbers are not using a commas for the thousand separator and what you do is you go into notepad and you paste the information. The spaces automatically put a comma in there, I guess. But if we select this information and copy it from notepad and then go back to the spreadsheet, and there we go. We can put the information in and there we have it. Information working fine. We can even do mathematical formulations and everything's working great. Another example of this is from HTML. What I was doing yesterday was looking for historical cotton prices. I want to see what a cotton to silver ratio looks like. And I found this different uh, web page here. It showed, shows me from 1876 what the price per pound on cotton is. So let's assume that I want to move this information to a spreadsheet. What I'll do is I'll copy and paste this and uh, that's not really what I'm looking for. That's not going to help me with the data if I do it this way. Once again I'll use notepad. Paste the information in here and what this needs is a comma from, from column to column. So an easy fix in this particular example is to replace the colon with a comma. So I have a colon here and a comma here. If I replace them all there we go. Now I can select it all, copy, and if I paste it here, there we go. We have the year on the left hand side and we have the price on the right hand side. So there's a couple of tips. Maybe this might help out one or two people. Thank you for watching and have yourself a great day.